Today we're going to talk about NeoVim's built-in terminal. Now, some of you might be using Tmux or ZLJ or something else, and that's totally fine. Uh, they're really cool, and you can use whatever you want to do terminal multiplexing. Uh, for me, I just kind of got started inside of NeoVim before I knew about a bunch of those other tools. And so I've always kind of just used NeoVim's terminal originally, and now I've kind of built several workflows around it, and I quite like it. So let's go over what NeoVim's terminal is, how to do it, and then a few shortcuts that are important as well as writing a few of our own little things to be able to uh, use NeoVim's terminal effectively and I'll show you one quick trick at the end uh, where I think like oh that's cool I could automate something uh, where that could come in so first things first obviously there's going to be documentation in the terminal and sure enough it says run a command in an interactive shell if you don't do anything it's just going to start your shell type I to enter terminal mode sweet this is how you escape control slash control n that's confusing i know that we'll we'll make a different one later that's fine uh but that's okay we'll we'll get back to that later and then that's pretty much it if you want to do something special when you open term uh terminal mode you can do something on term open to basically like configure that so let's go ahead and get started we'll run term and sure enough, right here, we've got our own little terminal here. I can run ls, I can run ls-al, I can do tree lua, and we can, right? It's just a regular old terminal. The problem is, unlike everywhere else, if you start spamming escape, I'm still in terminal mode. You can you can see it. I'm pointing at it out here, but you can't see anything. So that's where we need to do that thing that we read, which would control slash control n like this, and control backslash, uh, and then that will give us back into normal mode. Now, I mean, now something that's pretty cool is you can, you know, do your normal stuff you can yank this you can search for like editor config right you can do a bunch of cool stuff and you can navigate around this buffer just like you would any other neovim buffer which i think is really cool and uh quite quite nice uh there's a few things initially that i'm personally not a fan of so let's go ahead and um we'll go ahead and try and fix those so first thing is you might have noticed it said that we could do vim api and vim create auto command and we can go term open and uh for me personally and we'll just uh we'll just yank these right here i'm uh more of a fan of uh, we'll do custom term open or something like this i i like vim i like the option of number equals false and vim relative number uh equals false because it just looks weird to me to have line numbers on those things so if we um execute this then we do a new thing here and we go term. Uh, let's see. Buff cannot be passed for window local option number. Oh, of course. Ah, classic. Sorry. 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 We can do Vim opt. I don't know why I wrote this. We've been using Vim opt. That's the better one. So we can go ahead and re-execute this. We don't need to restart. This is going to clear our previous one and open up a new one. So we can run term now. And sure enough, look, there's no, you'd see like on, uh, I guess this side for you guys on this side of the screen, Right? There is nothing. There's no more numbers. So that's nice. I like that. That's my preference. It looks more like the way that I expect a terminal to look. So that's great. Um, you could set any other kinds of things you wanted to here to make that configurable. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, another thing we could do that I'm a fan of is I've got myself a little um, shortcut where I do something like space um, ST for small terminal. Okay. And what I do here is I do something like this. I say uh, vim command, and we could go like, uh, you know, v new, something like this. Okay. And then I do vim command term. So that's going to run the terminal command. And then I usually just do something like vim api nvim win set height. And I think it's just zero, and I can say 15, something like this. So it makes it about 15. And I also want to do vim command, uh, let's say win command. And let's do uh, capital J. This puts it all the way at the bottom. So basically what this does is it goes V new or uh, whoops, V new, I guess is fine either way term. And then it does win command J, which puts this at the bottom and then calls Lua Vim API and Vim win set height. And it says zero to 15. So that just makes it 15 tall. Now when I'm this zoomed in 15 looks pretty high, but maybe we'll just say like five. Okay. And when we run this, we can close this down. Whenever I pray, press uh, space ST, command not fan, wind command, that makes sense. <laughs> not wind command, wind command. I uh, will try that again. And we go space ST. Now this opens little five lines. I could run something like git add or something, right? And I could push this and then I do git push and I just press, you know, control D to kill that. And then I'd be back to where I was. Now there's a few things that we could do that would be 
um pretty cool inside of here i'm not going to show you everything but like we'll at least get a few things going here so the first thing is let's do something like we'll save um we'll say like local um job id is zero something like this and then let's do something here where we're just going to send an example command so we'll say space example this is a something that we're not actually going to uh, keep around but what we can do here is we can do i think it's job send job send am i right about that rename to chan send oh nice it's changed since the last time i tried this out so send data channel id for a job it writes to the standard in of the process for the standard io channel standard io yeah okay nice so we can send something to this job and we'll be able to um when we do that basically control our uh terminal without having to uh be inside of it okay and you can imagine writing more complicated keyboard shortcuts to automate more things for yourself but um that's totally fine i think it should be job id terminal job id use channel instead uh to access the current buffer vim bo buffner channel nice okay awesome thank you thank you help docs great okay so what we can do is we can say uh, job ID is this without the ticks because that doesn't exist anymore and we can delete uh, this because it's going to be this buffer okay so now we have the channel ID so we should be able to do vim fn chan send and let's send our job ID this is the terminal job associated with what's going on so that's like the shell and let's just send something like echo hi uh, like this now this won't quite do what we're hoping uh, and that's okay but when we run space st now we can go something like i see how i'm up in this buffer here if i do space example kind of a long keyboard shortcut it sends echo high down here now we have a bit of a problem we actually want to like send that we're going to uh do a new line here and i think if we just put a new line like this this might actually work so let's quit out of this one and we'll try again space st uh oops i didn't resource this uh file here one sec let's uh we can just whoops space space x we'll re we redo this whole file we'll do space st now we do something like space well, i'll get out of this buffer space example uh and it didn't do it okay so that's fine i have to remember what do we need to send to actually make this go let's check inside of um chan send was there something like this maybe a string string convertible bob or list if data is a list i will join my new lines um maybe we need to actually send like let's try this uh, control v enter we'll try that i don't know if that's gonna work that doesn't work either that's not a literal i can't type that inside of there no way oh <laughs> okay uh let me think let me think let me think let me think uh there's got to be a way to just send maybe i need to send a registered nurse instead of just this okay that could be it that could be it i think that that should work okay uh the lsp is a little confused but oh whatever so let's go back to here and we'll do space example nice so registered nurse you know sends it as let's go so we could change this instead to be something like um let's say we change this to be instead of high we say something like we could run something like ls dash al okay in your project maybe this would be something like make or maybe it would be like go build or maybe it would be like go test this thing right and you could actually like write this as a custom thing for yourself the reason that i like this that i think that this is uh that this is kind of cool we'll just lsb restart as well because i don't know why it's angry at us um is you could write something to super easily customize this to do exactly what you're looking for for your particular use case and script it all inside of your own neovim right so if we execute this we run space st again we can do space example and then you would run ls dash al and you can see this result here so i just think that's pretty cool because i like being able to script this editor with lua inside of neovim um and i think that that like option makes it pretty interesting as something that i use to control different parts of my workflow so that's pretty much everything i guess the only other thing is i think people like doing something like have a floating terminal and this also pretty easy we can do this with like nvim open win and we can just do something like uh something like we're gonna just open this window relative 
uh, window relative editor. We'll just do like, you could just make a floating window and call term inside of it. Cause there's nothing really special about this. I personally like it opening as a little slice on the bottom, but you could instead do something like Vim, uh, API and Vim win, uh, or open win and pass in a config here. And we could talk about floating windows. Can you leave me a comment if, if you want that? Uh, we could make a floating window thing open and close for the terminal and like toggle it and keep those in probably like 20 lines of Lua. So if you, if you like that, just leave a comment in the, in here and I'll make that for the next one or something for you if you really like that. Okay. All right. Bye everybody. I'll see you later.